Meanwhile, President Obama has ordered 17,000 more American troops to Afghanistan. It's the first stage of a build-up that will eventually see 60,000 U.S. troops deployed to the country. Sky's Foreign Affairs editor Tim Marshall reports. Obama has fired the starting gun. He inherited this war, but now he's raising the stakes while lowering expectations of victory. I think Afghanistan is still winnable in the sense of our ability to ensure that it is not a launching pad for attacks against North America. Uh, I think it's still possible for us to stamp out al-Qaeda, to uh, make sure that extremism is not expanding, but it rather is contracting. So forget dreams of Switzerland in the Hindu Kush and welcome the reality check. A hard, long, bloody war with the aim of breaking al-Qaeda whilst coming to terms with some elements of the Taliban. 17,000 troops is a 40% increase for the Americans. First in will be 8,000 Marines in the spring, then a combat brigade in the summer. After that, who knows? It was another young Democratic president who escalated the war in Vietnam, Kennedy. Obama is running the same risks, but believes a three-pronged strategy will deliver results. I am absolutely convinced that you cannot solve the problem of uh, Afghanistan, the Taliban, the spread of extremism in that region solely through military means. We're going to have to use diplomacy, we're going to have to use development. But who will stand up and count themselves with the Americans? The NATO countries have been backward in coming forward with troops, much of the development money has been squandered and the world is now in recession, and the diplomacy needs to involve Russia, Iran and Pakistan. This is a big gamble early into a presidency. Tim Marshall.